touch from God. But see, you can't activate anything coming from God, virtue coming from God, without faith. For it is impossible to please God without faith. So that means when you come from that chair to this altar, you got to say, God, you know what? I'm coming to touch the hem of your garment. And I know if I could just touch the hem of your garment, I shall be healed of my infirmities. Amen. Or maybe you have another need of another type. Maybe you need wisdom. Maybe you need healing. It doesn't matter. But you access the things of God. You know, faith is like a hand that reaches out and grabs. Amen. And that's okay for you. It's okay for you to look at your faith as a hand that says God's promises belong to me. That one belongs to me. And you grab it and you pull it into you. That's okay for you to live like that. It's also okay, and I'm going to get to the scripture in a second. It's also okay for you to do this. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. You know, the devil for a long time tried to torment me with that. Because I'd say, God, you know, I believe, but I'm fighting. I'm fighting this warfare of faith. So I believe, help my unbelief. And really, what I'm not saying I believe I don't believe. I'm saying I believe, but man, I'm in a war. I'm in a war because my circumstances are fighting me. People are fighting me. Dead, dumb spirits are fighting me. Yeah. Trying to keep me out of the promises of God. That's called the warfare that you go through. And everybody goes through it. And one day the Spirit of God said this. He said, call those things to be not as though they are. Speak to the mountain. Command it to move. Amen. Start acting like a son of God. Speak the word. Remember, remember, remember. The anointing's on the word. The anointing's on the word. I said the anointing's on the word. See, sometimes we think, well, the anointing's on us. Well, in, in, a, in, a, in a way, it is on us. But remember, the anointing came on Jesus, the word. And when the anointing came on the lo- when the anointing comes on Logos, what does it do? It turns it into rhema, life-giving power. Amen. So when you speak, when the, when you speak the word and the anointing comes on it, things happen. Things happen. And what, here's what happens. Your circumstances then begin to line up with the word of God that came out of your belly and came into being. See what I'm saying? See, that's life in the spirit. That's the spirit life. That's the spirit of life ministries where we walk in the spirit, amen, and we do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. But now we walk not as men, carnal men, but as spiritual men. See the difference? So if you, want your, if you want your life to change, then you have to change it by speaking the word. You can't change it just by getting another job. You can't change your life just by moving to a different location. You know, if you've got devils, they move with you. Open up your mouth and shout unto 